One of the most beautiful things about this city is the way it connects people. People from all over the planet move to New York City and somehow, in some way, connections and lifelong friendships are made. And sometimes, in the most random ways. Three years ago, I was living in Chinatown and I would always go to this one restaurant called Thai Sun. The food was pretty good, but it was just really cheap. And also, I had befriended one of the waiters just from going so consistently. Now, fast forward until today, he is now helping me out with the channel from help filming and doing photography, editing, and even brainstorming video ideas. He is now helping me create for this channel. And we're gonna go meet up with him right now, once I finish this coffee. I got this mug in Disney World. It's it's pretty cool, right? <laughs> What's up, dude? I'm good. Abe, so I was just telling the people how you are now helping me out with the channel. Yep. And at first that we met from Thai Sun from a random Vietnamese, <laughs> is it Vietnamese? Vietnamese exactly, Vietnamese, Vietnamese restaurant. restaurant. And so now you are helping me out with the channel and it's so cool to see our friendship evolve over these past few years. Exactly. Just so you know guys, he's the nicest Customer <laughs> ever. I was a good customer. I exactly. Well. You're so friendly. You just come. Yo, what's up to everyone? <laughs> That's the best part about being in New York because I feel like some people who move here, they kind of stay in their own little circle or their own bubble. But if you are outgoing, have a smile on, then people are more approachable to you. So that's why when I like to go into restaurants, you know, you never know. Exactly. Go in for food, come out with a friend. Exactly. And Abe is actually doing an internship with me since he is in film school right now. And I'm honored to say that you are now studying film. You changed your majors because of everything, exactly. you know, you've learned from me doing YouTube. Yeah. So He's the best guy. You, dude. <laughs> and now we're going to go eat some very unique junk food. Before we head to get to the junk food, there's one thing I wanted to show you guys. So this clock right here at Union Square for my entire life has always just been the time. But recently they changed it to the climate clock. Where we have seven years, 99 days, 16 hours, 51 minutes and 42 seconds. Until we're supposedly doomed for global warming. So I think this is a really cool movement to, you know, encourage people to care more about the climate, recycle plastic, and to care more about the environment. Okay, now, now time for this junk food. Okay, so I found this place on the internet right here, and it has all these exotic foreign candy and junk food. So the name of the place is called the Rivington Tobacco and Vape. <laughs> it's at 40 Rivington Street in the Lower East Side and we're, we're about to go in and get some junk food. Everything here, this is not from America. You Nothing can't here, really no, get this in the in city or anywhere else. Not really. Wow, that is so cool. So like where are some of the countries that you get this from? You got Japan, all of these are Japanese. These are Chinese, these are Thailand, these are um, Korea. This is also Thailand, Korea. Mountain Dew cheeseburger and uh, supreme cheese. Wow, the Mountain Dew Doritos. Oh, I'm totally getting that. Adam just said these taste exactly. Exactly like the drink Mountain Dew. You're drinking a Mountain Dew, but in this chips form, in potato chips. I'm excited to try these. Now what that is? Oh, bro. <laughs> Not easy. It's a lot of research, a lot of communicating, and we just try our best to give people the best in terms of snacks and you know, the delicious ones. Love it. If you guys are looking for some exotic foreign snacks, you have to come here to 40 Rivington. 40 Rivington Street, RTV underscore exotics is the Instagram page. All right guys, I am so excited about this. We just spent nearly $100 on junk food, but 
I have a feeling it's gonna be totally worth it. Yeah, that's the thing about this stuff that Adam was telling us that some of these that are imported from Japan and Australia are the most expensive. So this bag of Mountain Dew Doritos is 15 bucks. Some of the other chips are only $5, but yeah, unfortunately we grabbed all the Australian what? cheeseburger ones. So yeah, let's try this out. First up, let's go with the, the taco. Ta taco Doritos. Bon appetit. Cheers. If you close your eyes, I feel like I am eating a taco. They do a pretty good job. It's really good. It's really good. Yeah, it's not too far off from like the nacho cheese. Exactly. It's not like that extreme of a taste, but still, very good. Next, we got the cheeseburger Doritos. Oh wow, you can you can feel the patty like inside, like it's like it's there, the flavor is there. That is a flavor bomb. I feel like there's so many flavors just coming in and out out of that one chip. I don't know how they do it. We got Mountain Dew Doritos. Let's go. They're like neon green. Wow. Wow. Let's try it. It tastes like they poured a Mountain Dew can Inside. over the whole bag of Doritos. And let it dry. <laughs> and then dumped more Mountain Dew on it, let it dry, and then repeated 10 times, and then sold us this bag of it. It feel like a soda too, like you can taste like a yeah. bubble. It's mm -hmm. really close. Yeah, these are some, some foreign chips right here. I like my snacks like I like my cars. All foreign. Mm. Yeah, these actually are really good. Not gonna lie. Probably not the most healthiest food for you, but really good I feel so horrible yet so good at the same time uh, I still feel horrible but at least I do feel much better than I did before one hour later it has been about two or three weeks that Abraham has been helping me out and it has been so beneficial to have him a part of the team. Since good help really doesn't come by too easy and he is so passionate about making videos and everything I'm doing here on the channel. And also being a YouTuber, especially as your full-time job, can get so overwhelming since there are so many different verticals that go into the business and to try and do everything by yourself can just stress you out and burn you out so badly. So to have Gabe, Abe, and other remote workers helping me out has just been so great. It makes this job so much more enjoyable, especially since everyone is my friends. And if we're lucky, we're gonna be catching a pretty mean sunset. Fingers crossed. So the reason I wanted to come down here to catch sunset over the city was because tonight is actually my last night here in New York City for a pretty long time. Since tomorrow I am leaving for Turkey and I do just want to say that I'm not going there for a few days and then coming home. I'm going to be posted up there for about a month or so. So I'm taking all the safety precautions, I did get tested and I luckily came back negative so we're good to go. And it is legal for Americans to travel there, so I'm being responsible and I am excited to get some time out of the city and just chill out for a bit. And the reason I'm going to Turkey is because I am going to be going with two other YouTubers and that's pretty much like one of the only places with all of our passports we can get into. So it's going to be myself, Los LeBlanc, and Lexi Limitless. I'm really excited for this adventure we are about to embark on. I think we're gonna be staying on a boat for a week and then going around to some other islands. So it should be a really cool time and I can't wait to take you guys along with me. It's been way too long since I've made adventure videos. So yeah, super pumped.